我名字叫杨来好，我这个新和平的班主就是我咯。这个木偶啊，我从小以前在我七岁读书的时候，我在学习，学了十十多年了、啊、才学会。这个是我的工作吗？当然我自己来动手吧，其他的人就不会了，连我太太的也不会了，他们也不会做了。Hello everyone, I'm Alex. I'm the chairman of Kyulitong Temple. I'm Chong Sui, the secretary of the Kyulitong Temple. We all know about the four races in Singapore, and even amongst the Chinese, there are so many dialects. Us Hinghuas, we are one of the minority dialects. The Hinghua people are actually from many areas in Putian. When the people actually arrived in Singapore, many actually became the rickshaw pullers. The rickshaw people actually develop and then they become involved in bicycle trade and so on. Hinghua people are still taxi drivers and actually car spare part trade is still there also, yes. A key element of our architectural design is the upturned solo tail roof ridge. It is a very minan style of architecture. Another key feature of our temple is the exposed red brick wall on the exterior of the temple building. Unique to Hinghua temples, we have the wax paper lanterns that are hang around the temple. Amongst these lanterns were the smaller ones, which bear the deity's name. Devotees uh, can actually borrow the lantern home to help them resolve issues. The deities in our temple, they come from all over Putian in China. The consultation session happens every, every week, and on the first and the second day of the month, Devotees will come to seek um, advice for their personal medical ailments and they need to ask for blessings. 要讲起我们的莆田的木偶，跟他们做的福建般的木偶完全不一样。第一次还有音乐不一样，讲话的口音也不一样，做法也不一样。像我这么大的两扯的，就是我们的莆田的木偶比较大一点。哦，要讲做这个鬼事，其他的人什么人都不会做，这是我们莆田，这是我一般的，其他的人没有了。抄这个鬼事不是是不是这么简单呢？要念咒。Oh, you have to learn. You have to learn. It's not so difficult. My grandfather was one of the founding members of the temple. We actually have contributed a plaque on the building and also dragon pillars outside. So that's why I was attached to the temple. Thank you will be Gansia. It's uh, to say I'm very happy to meet you. What's the Huahi coin Is that right? Correct. <laughs> Your clothing is very nice today. King Walu Iyo, Senor Jin Sao. What you want to say this person is very good, right? You always say, Ti Te Ho. You can say it's very nice. Te Ho Lea. You are better than me. Hi, I'm Nicholas. Hi, I'm Amanda. And together, we are, we are the fourth generation, generation here at Ming Zong Restaurant. Our most popular dish here at Ming Zong Restaurant is the white lomi. It's actually a white broth noodle cooked together with fresh seafood. And the noodle is actually a handmade So the white lor mee is actually a very popular dish in the Hinghua culture. That's why our great-grandparents decided to bring it over from Putian, China to Singapore. Putian is also very famous for its fresh seafood. That's why you notice that there's a lot of fresh seafood in our white lor mee. This white lor mee is very popular among uh, rickshaw riders in the past. Uh, they actually have to run around Singapore tirelessly uh, throughout the day. And then what they actually look forward to is uh, this warm, big bowl of white lor mee. So instead of the rickshaw riders, uh, in the modern days, actually our grab food and food panda riders who actually drop by Ming Zong restaurant just to have this white lor mee to fulfill their stomachs and continue the day. So here at Ming Zong restaurant, the top five Ming Hua dishes are the white lor mee, the fried bee hoon, the lala, batang fish and also the Thailand green cut skin. This shop has been around for 88 years and brought down by our grandparents. So I feel that me and my brother as a Hinghua 
we should actually bring this down and to teach the younger generation what Hinghua is all about. Our temple used to be at Diwari Street, which is the site of the now demolished Rocho Centre. In those days, that area used to be the enclave for the Hinghua community. With urban renewal, the community moved out, so did the temple. Uh, as the older generation actually passed on, the Hinghua culture and language actually slowly disappear. So I think it is very important for our temple to continue the traditional way in order to continue the Hinghua culture. I want to